welcome everyone to the online class on computer i hope every one of you have already understood the basic introductions of the computer their basic parts their applications on different fields today we will be learning more about the computers more specifically their features the characteristics of a computer features is also commonly known as the characteristics of a computer here we will be learning different features of computer individually in brief before that let us review what is computer computer is the most essential and powerful machine in today's world it has become a need in everyone's life a computer can perform task very quickly and accurately some of the characteristics of computer are shown in a diagram below here in a diagram you can see very clearly the characteristics or the features of computer the characteristics of computer that have made the so powerful and universally useful are speed intelligence versatility stores capacity and many more so we will be discussing the few characteristics or the features of computer in our presentation today let us start with the first characteristics of the computer that is versatility normally characteristics implies the abilities of a person or a machine to perform a particular task in a specific way for example versatility means the capability of a computer which can perform all kind of job simultaneously computer can do diverse nature of works like calculations graphic work searching editing recording storing etc at the same time we can perform various kinds of task at the same time and that is the versatility so therefore the computer is also known as a versatile machine second is intelligence computer is a intelligent machine why because computer are such a machine which are unlike humans it can perform it can work for hours and hours without getting tired it is also a machine which never loses its concentrations even after working for a several hours so computers are the most dependable machine this is the reason why the computer has become more powerful day by day it performs task whatever the task for several hours unless our work is done the computer helps us to complete the task no matter the time no matter how long it takes next the next characteristic of the computer is speed we all of us have experienced that the computer performs every single task very fast in a blink of an eye we get to see the result as soon as we input the data to the computer computer can work very fast computer can perform millions of instructions and even more per second according to the user's requirement so next we have accuracy okay this is one of the most important characteristics of the computer we all of us have a study in class 4 the term gigo if you have not then let me introduce the term gigo that stands for garbage in garbage out which means if the input given to the computer is correct the output is always correct computer never makes a mistake unless the input given by humans are inaccurate data 
Therefore, computer is also an accurate machine. So we have the last features. I have included uh, automation as the feature of a computer because we all of us see that computer is an automatic machine. So let me see. Computer is an automatic machine, automatic machine which works without intervention of the user. Yes. We all need to do is give an input instruction to the computer and the processing is done by the computer itself. Therefore, user is required to give the data and utilize the result, but the process is automatic. This is the reason why computer is called automatic machine. So these are the few limited, uh, these are the few characteristics that I've included in this presentations, which are also the abilities of the computer, which makes the computer more powerful in today's world. So here I have the other uh, topic included that is limitations of the computer. This is just contrast to the characteristics of the computer, which actually defines the abilities of computer. Limitation of computer is the disabilities of the computer, the things which computer cannot perform. If we give a sec second for, our, if we give a thought for a second, we it is impossible to say that computer have have any kind of disabilities or it cannot perform the task because nowadays the computer has become more powerful day by day. The technology is getting more advanced, but there are some limitations to the computer which we can discuss today. They are, all of you know, computer is an electronic machine. It works on electricity. Without electricity, computer cannot work. First limitation or the disabilities of the computer, which all of us know. Now, there are some other disabilities as well, which I'm going to list it out here. Number one, it depends on user's input. Earlier, we have discussed in the accuracy of computer as well that computer depends on the input. The processing is done by the computer. So, computer always depends on the input. If the input is correct, the output is correct. But if the input is incorrect, the output will be always incorrect. Second, computer have no imaginations. Computer have no imaginations, which cannot create itself. That means we users need to create, we users need to have an imagination to work on a computer. A computer itself is a machine. It does not have any imaginations and its own intelligence. Third, computer cannot detect error in logic. That means when we work in a specific field on a computer, like programming, developing, and many other things, we need to be expert. And for the basic tasks that we perform, we all of us perform, we need to have a knowledge. But if there is some more like developing, we need an expert. So computers are being advanced day by day. We need an expert for several other tasks to perform, more advanced work if you want to perform. And we have the last limitations listed. It says it cannot take its own decision. Yes, we humans are responsible to take every decision for the computer. We give instruction to the computer and perform calculations are performed on the computer itself automatically, but decisions are always taken by the computer. So we have come to the end of the presentations for today. In today's lessons, let us give a quick review. We've learned characteristics as a features of computer, disabilities of the computer as a limitations. So if you have any questions regarding today's topic, I would be happy to see in the comments below. And I hope in this lockdown, every one of you are staying home and learning. So stay home and learn skills. 
Thank you, everyone.